All right, this is practice problem 3.1, and now we're going to be solving the second equation. Okay, so here we have, um, once again, we're going to set this up with step one, which we're going to write out our reactants, and then our products on the other side. Okay, our reactants, we have C2, we have H4, and we have an O2. Okay, on the product side, we have a carbon, we have H2, and then we have both an O2 and a free oxygen, right? And so both of those are just coming from the CO2 and the H2O. So now we can add all these up, right? So step two, we look and we say, okay, we have two carbons over here. We have four hydrogens over here. We have two oxygen over here. We have just one carbon there, two hydrogens. And here we have a total of, we have two oxygen, okay? plus one more oxygen, so we have a total of three. All right, so now we need to end up balancing this, okay? And this is where it gets a little bit more tricky. So if we look at the oxygen first, okay, um, we say, well, let's start with the carbon. The carbon might be the easiest to start with. So we know that in order to balance these carbons, right, we are going to need to multiply um, the product carbon by two, right? So now that would give us a total of 2 here. Okay. Well, if we add a 2 here, that means that's 2 times this carbon. So we actually have to add a 2 in front of that. Okay. When we add the 2 there, we're actually also adding that 2 in front of this oxygen now, right? Because we still have this 2 times the oxygen. Okay. So now, if we recalculate this, now we no longer have just three oxygen, we have two times two is four, plus one more, so we have a total of five now over here. Okay. Well now, if we look at the hydrogens, okay, we have four over here, but we have two on this side, so we know we need to multiply this by two as well. Okay. That gives us a total of four. But that also means that that two has to go in front of that H2O, which then means that two is also carried to this oxygen, which then means we now have six oxygen. Okay, and so now the carbons are balanced, the hydrogens are balanced, but now we look at the oxygen, okay? The oxygen, we have a total of six on the product side, but only two over here. And so if we multiply this side by three, okay, that means we put a three there. Now that gives us a total of six. And so now the oxygens are balanced. And so our final answer um, would be just C2H4 plus 3O2 gives us 2CO2 plus 2H2O.